Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. Looks like we are going to start down the road to recovery as we push into Thursday and more so on Friday. Overnight, looks like we'll have plenty of clouds, still the chance for showers and overnight lows in the uh, low to mid 40s. North wind 10 to 15 miles an hour. Coastal fog, the most uh, obvious choice there in terms of the potential for patchy fog overnight. A 60 degrees for a high on Thursday, might not look like much, but it is an improvement. And then Friday, 78, and Saturday, 80, there's your improvement. But winds will be cropping up out of the southeast, 15 to 20 miles an hour. Your rainfall totals, how much has it rained anyway? Well, not a whole lot. At the time of this recording, looking at uh, just little trace amounts all across the valley. And uh, overall, not expecting a whole lot once all that finally moves out and away overnight into Thursday about mid-morning, then we're done with any chance for light showers, and we go on through the day, again, with a slow improvement, but Friday, a marked improvement as southeast winds return, clear skies, so southeast winds and sunshine working together to get us right up there and feeling good. Tomorrow days, a big save in terms of that forecast turning around. Look at your Friday and Saturday there with 76 to 80 degrees, and again, the southeast winds 15 to 20, looks good. Now next week, Monday to Tuesday, we'll have another frontal boundary come through. This one more western style, and it's going to bring some cooler air, yes, but also the chance for showers as the front passes through, and perhaps some lingering showers behind the front on Monday into Monday night. And again, cooler conditions across the valley into Tuesday when things clear out, and once again, we go right back to an improving forecast by the middle part of next week. As far as the upper valley and lower valley, pretty much the same story. When you're talking about a really nice weekend, you're also talking about breezy conditions lasting well into next week with that next cold front. That's a look at your 24-7 forecast.